Yes, that's right, snakes can fly now. Well, scientists have known this about for about 200 years. Even though this isn't a new news, it might still surprise you. Snakes are already pretty intimidating, but imagine some of them falling on you from the sky. As for now, only one genus of snake possesses this ability, and that is Chrysopelea, also known as flying or gliding snake. This odd genus is comprises of five named species that ranges from two feet to four feet in length. Each species has different colors and patterns, and some individuals having multiple variations, making them popular species. They are typically found in the forests of Southeast Asia, India, and Southern China. Their patterns can be bold and easy to see, but sometimes they help the snakes blend into their surroundings, making them almost impossible to spot. Flying snakes are arboreal, means they almost spend all their time on trees, and they rarely venture to the ground. Most of their population lives in remote jungles, which creates a natural buffer between people and Chrysopelea. They rarely attack humans. These snakes prefer to avoid human interaction. If they feel threatened or cornered, they might bite as a defense mechanism. However, their bites are not venomous and usually result in only minor irritation or discomfort. Their bite has never resulted in human death. You don't need to worry about their fangs. They have small heads with tiny fangs located at the back of their mouths, making it difficult for them to bite humans. These fangs are more dangerous to their tiny prey because it allows them to better grip animals without the risk of escape. However, this is difficult for small critters, as they are usually the targets of the snake's gliding attacks. This serpent is so skilled at gliding that it outperforms almost every other gliding animal except birds, despite having no wings or wing-like structures, leading to the question of how. Well, it starts with the snake catapulting itself out of a tree by hanging onto a branch with its tail and forming a J-shape with its body. Then it picks a target, chooses a landing zone, and angles its body for the correct flight path. Once all these steps are in order, the snake finally managed to glide by flattening their bodies and undulating side to side. They launch themselves from trees and create a parachute-like shape with their bodies, which allows them to glide through the air. Their unique body movements and aerodynamic shape enable them to travel in impressive distances without wings. Studies have shown that these aerial specialists can glide at speeds over 25 miles or 40 kilometers per hour, nearly the same as Usain Bolt's running speed. To avoid landing too fast, snakes use the back of their tails to touch down first, acting like a makeshift brake. What's even more impressive than speed is how far they can travel. They can glide impressive distances. On average, they can travel about 100 meters, 330 feet in a single glide, although some individuals have been observed gliding even farther. Scientists are puzzled about how the snake can navigate such long distances. They know it has an internal navigation system, but don't understand how it works exactly. However, the snake has mastered this skill and uses it mainly for hunting fast animals like lizards, rodents, frogs, birds, and bats. In future, if you see flying snakes remember, these fascinating creatures are harmless and just doing their thing in their natural habitats. If you enjoyed learning about them, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more wildlife adventures.